Hi guys, hope you're all fit and healthy. I'm on with a Marketplace haul video. Now, the other day, well, you know that I peruse Marketplace by now, if you've been watching me. Um, I do check it pretty well daily, numerous times a day, because if there is anything good, you've really got to jump on it quick. So that is what I did the other day. A lady had put up a, um, looked like a little bag that had some trims and that in, and it was for ten dollars but then there were more photos of fabric and all sorts of bits and pieces and I thought that's way worth ten dollars so I jumped on it but also at the same time um I have these plastic drawers they're like the ones you get from spotlight that have ten plastic drawers in the metal frame and they're on wheels and they're so handy because they fit your A4 size papers and they're really cool for sorting um, book pages and that in and my mum's always eyeing mine off now, they do cost 50 to 60 bucks at Spotlight or whatever, so I saw some of those on Marketplace for $10, and they were just around the corner from the trims and that, so that was really cool. I was able to dash off and pick up my mum the drawers that she's wanted for ages, as well as get myself a little treat. Now, when I went to the lady's house to pick up the trims, she gave me that bag, and she explained to me she was um, clearing out a house of a couple of hundred-year-old people, who kept everything. Now, I know what that's like because <laughs> I keep everything these days. Um, and she said there was heaps of stuff. So um, as we were walking out, she picked up another bag. She goes, you wouldn't use this, would you? And I saw what looked, appeared to be some gift wrap in it. And I said, oh, yeah. So she was like, really? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, we use all sorts of stuff. So she gave me that bag. And then she said, um, I have a bag in the back of the car that's full of Christmas stuff. Would you be interested in that? And I was like, yeah, no worries. <laughs> so I come home with three bags of stuff for my $10. And she said that she's still got heaps to clean out. So she will um, keep my details and contact me if she thinks there's anything I'm interested in. Now, I have not been through the bags, not even the first one for the $10. So I really have no idea what junk I have. <laughs> so I thought it might be fun to go through it all with you guys so I'm going to start with the bag of rubbishy bits that she gave me first now she did warn me there might be some bits with names on them so I'll try and be careful not to show any personal information but this is the bag and I think she pulled this out and said would you use this and it's like yep anything paper why not so I'm going to put that down beside me and we're going to go through and see what we have here I said I haven't looked so I have no idea so it does look like it's a whole lot of gift wrap, which I love using and I love people's junk and that sounds really bad, but there's nothing uh, more inspiring than going through this sort of thing and picturing how you can reuse it in project. So I've got a bit of ribbon on that one too and some lovely roses. Also, I think um, the broken bits and that might be nice um, to use for some mixed media pieces. Now that piece I think can go in my plastic recycle. I'll use that bag to put plastic recycle in. So this is another bit that looks like it's got tulips on it there. So that's quite nice as well. A little gift box. Still got some fluff in there, cotton wool. That looks old, that does. Might be able to use that for something as well. And store some little ephemera pieces or charms in the box. That is really old. It's almost like a makeup sponge or something. Hmm, interesting, very vintage. I might use this flower on top of that. It's very interesting. So yes, <laughs> a bit of a mixed bag here. Looks like we've got some florist wire. That might come in handy for something, so. You just never know, do you? It's a bit, it looks like some cane off of a basket, so it was definitely a bag of stuff I think this lady was going to throw out. There's some beautiful pink ribbon, a bit of old newspaper, might recycle that. Oh, so this pattern is from, I think I had, yeah, this side of it, that's from a security envelope, so keep that. These look like some frames. There's two of them there, and this one's in a bag, so one would think they might have been bought for a project. 
be able to use those for something. Now it looks like we've got a supporter of, lift, of surf life saving. So I'll just put this in the... I think that is to hang that with. I might be able to use that somewhere. You never know. <laughs> You'll hear me say that a lot. So this is cool. I might be able to alter this or something. It's pretty nifty. And then this has a bit of sticky on it, so I think that can go in the recycling. Definitely all sorts. So this is just a circle cut out. That can go in the recycling because I have heaps of that sort of thing. Some of this padding, I think that can go in the rubbish. And some card bits here, various colours. And some more newspaper. I'm just going to recycle that. Oh, this is like a book plate from the library of. I really like that. That would probably come off quite easy too if I want to reuse that in a book. And then a beautiful... Um, I reckon this might have been full of book plates. It's a nifty little box though. It's another one I can store some ephemera in or something. We might be here a while. Um, that bit of card that came off of something. It's just got, I think it's an old rubber band <laughs> stuck to it. That's beautiful. I can reuse that as a little pocket or something. So I hope everyone's doing well. That's a really cute little picture from a card or something. Um, now, this is stuffed with tissues. I assume it's to keep all these bits sticking up. But I don't think I will use that to piece. Now, this looks like some beautiful purple tissue paper. I'm definitely keeping that. Look, there's a whole pile of it too. So I'll just fold that up a bit neater. So I've been busy. I've just been setting up the TV in my room. I have been here for about six years and never gotten the TV set up in my room. And I do like watching YouTube before bed. And I thought it's about time I was able to do it from my bed. Since I'm spending a fair bit of time in there reluctantly these days. <laughs> Goodness me. So that's cut out of an envelope. It's got part address on the other side, but we'll be able to use that side. Same with that. So the oval's cut out of it by the looks. This looks like a travel tag. I'll be able to reuse that. That's pretty cool. That can go in a travel journal. This is some nice thick card, like from the back of a notepad or something. Some more tissue paper. It's quite shiny, that one. And another bag. So I know probably a lot of you would just chuck this sort of thing out, but I find it hard to chuck anything out. And I almost prefer to go through these sort of scrap bits before dragging out uh, new papers and that. Lacy charm. That's a gorgeous bag, isn't it? That'll be really nice in a vintage journal somewhere. Tip top bakery labels by the looks. Not sure, I might be able to do something with them, even if I just cover over this piece and use them. Now it's an old cellophane bag. That's in not in bad condition. I might be able to use that. Same with this one. It's got a really nice vintage look to it. It's from a gallery or something. That's a bit dusty, so it can go in that plastic recycle. I've kept heaps of these whenever I buy stamps or anything. I always keep them um, for projects, so I don't think I need too much more. Now, this is really thick board, and they're both the same size, so that's perfect for big journal cover, don't you think? They're really strong, heavy-duty card, so, yeah, that's awesome. So I've got some more of your ribbon for tying bows on your prezzies. I keep all of that too. I 
haven't used a lot of it, but it'll be all right in your tags and that. So, and bits of card and paper. And some nice big bits. That's a lovely cream colour. Just some junk mail. So there's some for the plastic recycle there. Looks like we've got some Christmas stuff in here too. A bit of raffia tie. It's a nice orange one. I'll put that aside. Some long cardboard. A bit more raffia. Keep that. That'd be all right in a nature journal. Make a little bird's nest or something. This looks like some gold cord. Man, I'm going to have fun putting all this away. Um, some of your holly. <laughs> I don't do Christmas much, so I don't know about that stuff. <laughs> There's another one of those travel things for your suitcase. Tag, label, whatever. Beautiful envelope for Christmas. I don't know if that's dirty or what. It's a bit wrinkled. I think I will put that one in my recycling. Here's some more real nice chipboard. And some more there, which is really cool. This looks like some vintage wrapping paper. It's interesting. Saints Fair, October 97. I kind of like that sticker. So I might just cut that out. Yes, so hopefully I'll be watching YouTube from bed, bed tonight. And I can catch up because I've been a bit slack at keeping up with everyone's YouTubes and I'm missing them. One. that's really cool it's easier to use one when you've got a few <laughs> there's a circle that's been cut out it's a beautiful little Christmas tag I'll keep that one so it's almost like raffia it's a paper ribbon of some description and then lots of these these would be cool You'd be able to collage over them make a good size for your tags or even notepads It was lovely of her to um, give all of this to me. That's a lovely green. Another tag. A comb. Um, yeah, I think that can go in the rubbish. Some black scraps of paper. And cardstock. It's like a metallic, metallic piece. I'll put my scissors out of the way. Getting down the bottom of this bag. Some more ribbon. Sort of like a, pa a woven paper ribbon. And this, how old is this? Well, it's not hooch, so that's good. <laughs> I think it smells. So I think it's potpourri. Let's have a look. The Embroiderer's Guild is where it came from. Their heads look like lavender, possibly. That is really old. <laughs> I'm looking at it thinking maybe I could like do some dried flower art or something, but I don't know. I think that's probably past its use by, so I will. Um, I do like this tag, though, so I might take that off. And I can take the ribbon as well. I think I'll bin that. Some more of your florist's wire. Rubber band. Yeah, now I'm smelling lavender. <laughs> it's quite strong. Oh, that's a beautiful card. Thank you card. Just check. Doesn't it? It's empty, so. And it's... Well, it's to Nana and Papa, I think. Isn't that cute? I thought I'd better finally drag this out and show you so I can get it put away. Rubbish. Some more gold. It's almost like a gold leaf. Mm. 
I might have to have it play around with that. That'll be cool if it is. Now, this looks like some cellophane. It's a bit dirty, though. It's like plastic recycle. Same with that and that. And that one. And then we'll keep this one. I just like the vintage look of those cellophane bags. And they don't look so dirty. It obviously doesn't show up very much on them. Some more wrap, some pink florals, and then this paper. Oh, this is really sweet. Little baby angels, or angel babies. Some more tissue paper to go with my piles of tissue paper that I got off Marketplace last time, which I must play around with sometime. That's a bit wrinkled to use for anything. More wire. I'll use the pattern on the inside of that envelope. Some more cardboard. I'm getting down to a few nitty gritties here. I feel something like pencils. Tip it out. All right, napkins. Some more of that beautiful. It's got the other half of the rubber band stuck to it. <laughs> you know something's old when you find rubber band like that on it. Lots of card. This is a this is a key ring. It's interesting. Is it a compass or a timer? I think it might be a timer. Memo, Memo Park, Swiss made, patents pending. Oh, it's a timer. That is so cool. And then we've got some pens here. All right, so that was the first bag. So that was interesting. So the next bag, I think, is the one with the Christmas goodies. So I'll put that down beside me and we'll see what's in there. Oh, this looks cool. So we've got this bag here. Looks pretty old from the um, stickers on it. Metrotex. Can I get into the bag? The bag's not in the best nick, so I think that can go in the plastic recycle. Oh, lovely. So we've got this cord, which will be great for tying Christmas tags. And then this is full of different cords. You've got your gold, your greens and your reds. That's really cool. More gold cord. And this one. Is nylon woven edge velvet. So it's a velvet, beautiful yellow velvet ribbon. Put that aside. I've got some pink ribbon there. So that's definitely handy. I'm not huge on Christmas crafting, but now that I do journals, I do use a bit of it. So I think I'll just checking is this the right bag yeah it must be the Christmas one okay so this is so cool for the ten dollars and um, some beautiful maroon ribbon that doesn't have to be Christmas so I'll stick the stuff that's not necessarily Christmas in the first bag of goodies in here we have look at that beautiful paper ribbon well, I don't know what they make it of, but I call it paper because it's not material. <laughs> but that is lovely, that one. Some glitter ribbon. Beautiful. Is it wired? Yeah, wired um, tartan sort of ribbon. It's a nice thick one for pockets and belly bands, maybe. So that'll all go back in for Christmas. So what I'll do is put... 
back into this bag. Oh, I've got this trim. It's a woolen trim. That can go in our other bag. Oh, there's so many beautiful things. Look at this handkerchief. Actually, someone on Marketplace in, at the moment is selling a 30, I think, handkerchiefs that are really beautiful like this. And for $25, I think, and it's like, no. <laughs> I'll wait and see if she puts the price down, then it might be irresistible. Look at that. Gorgeous, and it's so thin. You can see there's a little hole in it there. That is really nice. Now, what is in here? It's too much fun. I thought I'd share it with you guys because I had no idea what was in there and it's so much fun going through this stuff and I, I know it's hard on people who can't get out at the moment but I, I would, st if I was in that situation, I'd still love watching other people's haul videos because I think when I first started crafting it was people's haul videos that inspired me to begin thinking about what I could make with all the things they were showing. So this is some gorgeous thread, embroidery thread, gold. So I'm just debating, do I put that with my threads or with the Christmas stuff? Oh, this is really cute. Little love heart. I think that goes that way. It's a felt love heart with some embroidery. That might be nice on a cover. This beautiful gold trim. It does not have to be Christmas, that one. Some lovely red material that can go in with my materials I think this must be a card that she was making so it's some green card stock it looks like she was maybe gonna do an embroidery neat writing that's really sweet Here's some more embroidery by the looks. Merry Christmas. Hasn't been finished. It's got some bows there. If I was any good at embroidery, I'd finish them off and use that somewhere. Make a nice little pocket. And I've got some green fabric as well. And it looks like there's a embroidery pattern here of Laburnum Cottage. That's a lovely little embroidery, that one. Doesn't look too hard either. That looks hard. <laughs> Not quite vintage. She's written down some of the colours. There's a little handwritten note there. Now that's not, not Christmas themed, so put that elsewhere. There's some ribbon. Yep, so that's some satin ribbon. These look like hooks, really old hooks. They look for something, they look like they're for something specific. It says new, they don't look very new. If anyone knows specifically what these are for, can they let me know, please? I'll take one out. Oh, so they like that. I'll probably end up being binned those unless someone says they've got a really good use. Now it looks like a whole stack of fabric here. Oh my goodness me. All right, we've got some more tissue paper. This is a really nice one. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how much is in here. So a whole heap of embroidery threads. Lots of these are metallics, which I hate using, but they look cool. Look at that little ribbon embroidery. That is so sweet. I have to take the personal message off, I think, and put that on a little cover somewhere or on a tag. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, 
metallic effect thread. Leave that in there. This looks like a project. Fits for a felt project. Yeah, another little love heart by the looks. Oh, it's sad when you see all these pieces that haven't been able to be finished, isn't it? Especially when I'm not that talented to be able to finish them, but I might be able to do something with them. And that thread is so fine. It's a beautiful love heart. Oh, they're all cut, ready to go. And some more, it looks like DNC. No? Anchor cottons and the metallic threads. I have to sort all of this out. I think there's tapestry needle pack in there. Yeah. And then all those threads. Goodness. I'll put them in with the Christmas stuff just for now. Now, Christmas fabrics. That's beautiful. There's a fair, fair bit of that one. This one's really sweet. Some checkered. Little check. Little checks. Something like that. Stripes. Looks like they've all been fat quarters that have been chopped up. Oh, I know what I can do with these. I love making Christmas themed scrappies. So these will be handy for that. Looks like a bow tie. That is too. That's really cool. Oh, that is gorgeous. Really pretty. Might have to do some scrappies and put a square of this on the top. Another love heart that's been cut out. You can see it's been drawn on and then hand cut. We're lucky these days with our big shots and dies, aren't we? Strawberries. Might put that separate. has been worked on. There's a pin in it. Take the pin, needle, it is. Must be the needle that was used for it. Look at that, beautiful. Quite a nice size for a large journal cover. Maybe you meant to, you probably meant to do both sides, sew them together and stuff it, but I think I'll put that in the cover. They're just gorgeous. Okay, dig around. Maybe I'll just chip the rest out and lucky dip it. Okay, so this is nylon ribbon. That's a lovely off-white, creamy colour. Doesn't need tea dyeing, always already looks like it's tea dyed. Got some more Christmas bits and pieces in here. Beautiful trim, some cut out circles. They have a pin in them. It looks like it was going to be a ball of some sort. There's more bits. And there's the template piece. So lots of scraps. And smaller scraps there. That one's not really Christmassy. This is too much fun. It's a bit of felt with a Christmas tree on it. I'll be able to even just use that on something. That's so cool. And there's 
this? Is, is that a tiki? I'm not sure. And that is beautiful soft leather. It's a little needle book by the locks and it's got some thread and some pins. Pink um, tape, which is cool. I don't think I have pink tape and I love using tapes to decorate my journals. And sewing journals. That is beautiful feeling leather. So that can go separate. This trim, there's heaps of this too. So that's vintage trim. That's really pretty, isn't it? I'm not sure whether to put that back in the Christmas or I think I'll put it in my regular bag because it might go with some other projects as well. This looks like another Christmas project. It's got pin in it. There's something with some stuffing in there. A hat or a Christmas tree, I reckon. Oh, a little strawberry. That's so cool. I might have to try and make some of those myself. That's really cool. I think it's a strawberry anyway. Now that could go in the plastic recycle. Some tinsel. Some berries. Still got the price on it, $1.75. That's from the lavender, I think. I can't smell any. I don't know why I'm smelling it. <laughs> They'll be handy too. Um, this is, that looks like some thin white ribbon. Bit of old crochet trim just checking that it's not a pin yes it's a pin and that's lovely brown and white trim some red ribbon I've got to take the pins out so I don't stab myself it's a beautiful dark green got some velour or velvet ribbon there this is full of different ribbons so I'll put that and my Christmas bag. I'm glad I didn't stab myself with these. These are beautiful little scissors. Very pointy. Polycotton bias binding. I'll put that with my other bias binding. The thick white ribbon. This beautiful trim. That's very Christmassy. And tartan ribbon. Some more of your wired tartan ribbon. That looks quite vintage as well. More bias binding. Some velour ribbon. And some pipe cleaners. Alright, so that's it for the second bag. <laughs> I hope you have a coffee. Um, I'll clean up this. And then we will have a look at the bag. That was the one that I got for the $10. So obviously I didn't pay for those two bags, which is absolutely amazing and so kind of the lovely lady. She was just really thankful to be able to give them to someone who might be able to use it. So, so this is the bag that I looked at initially. So we'll start with this. Already I'm excited. A lot of pink stuff, so some more bias binding. This looks like a sleeve. Look at this beautiful material. They've been pinned together, so it looks like it might have been taken apart. Some more bias binding. That's more bias binding. Some beautiful ribbon. It's another sleeve. So yeah, it looks like it's a clothing that's been taken apart. But look at the pattern on that. That is gorgeous. Looks like wild roses. And there's a bit of it. So I might just put that back into that bag. Grab another handful out. Got some of this ribbon. That 
that's a lovely colour. It's quite stiff, this brown one. A real sheer one. Same with that one. They're a bit tangled, but that one looks like it needs to go in a Christmas bag. So yes, I think I've got my work cut out sorting all of this out. Another beautiful hanky. One for the purple and green journals. Put that to the side. So this is probably the bag that I initially saw and thought, well, that's worth $10 almost as it is. So I'm, I'm going to say yes to this lot. I saw these trims. Oh, my goodness me. Look at those narrow ones. They're gorgeous. That'd look really nice on their bottom of tags. Three different types of that one. And then this thick one. And then we've got this blue one. This one. Very, very pretty. I've got a bit of material here. Some appliques. Beautiful vintage ones. is gorgeous. Some cottons, beautiful lilac. On the old cotton reels as well, which is nice. Metallic. I was meant to be pulling it all out and putting it away, but now that I've seen how mixed up it all is, it's just going to go back in the bags for now. <laughs> I will have to be in the mood to sit down and really sort things out to put them in with my other things here when I clean up in here. But I've got a couple of projects I need to finish first, so now that is tangled. So it's a pin, move that beautiful thread, this one. What brand is that? Marlit. Never heard of it. Lovely satiny cotton. And some really sheer vintage lace. I'm going to have to keep these pieces for a special project. Look at that. It's very sweet. ribbon and cotton and this is full of beads so I dare not open it I love this it's like a tiny little doily on the front it's got a little bottle there filled with seed beads as well and it looks like there's a stopper from another bot bottle where all those ones must come out of and I think I can feel it in there so interesting what else? That's filling up some of the bag. We've got one, two, three, four of these nylon rolls of nylon knitting yarn. I've got stacks of this stuff here, but I really like using this for to tag toppers and for tying off journals. Very easy to use. And there's some of it by the looks that's been sewn for something. A bit dirty. Be able to cut some of that off and use it. Actually, I'd better put that over this way. Some more ribbon with some hearts. Oh, I've got a bag of some fabrics here. Is that the same? It looks like the same pattern as the one we were looking at before. Oh, this is what she's been making. Oh, look at that. It's a journal cover all ready to go. That is so cool. I have to make a vintage rose journal or something. So maybe that way and this would go be your bookmark. Is that right? I don't know. There's something in there. Oh, a little pop, 
potpourri, I always say potpourri, potpourri, um, smelly thing. <laughs> that is so sweet. This is tissue. This is very vintage tissue. I don't know, do I keep it? <laughs> it doesn't look used. That's weird. And then we've got like some canvas and it must be another one that she was going to sew as well. Oh, I might have to keep it and see if I can finish it. Good luck to me. It'll probably end up inside out and all over the place. Ah, I'll keep all of that together. When you find something like that, you feel like you've got to honour it, don't you? And like finish it if you can. Looks like more projects. Okay, I think I'll do the big tip out at this stage. Oh, is that peacock? It's some peacock material. Oh my goodness me, this is beautiful. It's nice and thick as well. Good size for a number of covers there. That is awesome. Can't even fold it tonight. Um, some more bias binding. Some more ribbon for prezzies. Some off cuts of material. This is a nice satin. It's a nice nature color, isn't it? And browns, I love browns. There's a whole pile of this. And this looks like a napkin. It's too pretty to be used as a napkin, isn't it? Beautiful. Two little journal covers, maybe. That's very pretty. And we've got some ribbon attached to, looks like a crazy quilted cushion cover. The beginnings of a crazy, not, not another project I have to try and finish. Look at the colours though, they're beautiful. Maybe a crazy quilted journal cover. And she's pinned some of the appliques to it to get started. That is lovely. Okay, <laughs> another project for a rainy day. Look at that trim that she's putting onto it. Then this material. It's almost like a fleece, a cotton fleece or something. That is beautiful too. So I think I lucked out with that lot for the money. And then there's this bag of bits and pieces. So we've got some blue and some pink ribbon there. Some grey ribbon, which I don't often see, so that'll be great. Looks like she's making these with the grey ribbon, so little sachets as well. And look, there's beautiful little embroidery on that. It's a good idea. I've never thought of doing something like that with the ribbon. I really like that. Here's another one with a cross stitch. I can cross stitch. So I might be able to do something like that. Beautiful colours. Atamara Cottage, Mount Gambia. And there's some of the Hessian. So maybe she made and sold her goodies. And some crochet, whatever you call it, tatting thread. Oh, that was awesome. So I hope you enjoyed going through all of that with me. That was great fun. Got lots and lots of goodies to play with. Lots of vintage items, which is wonderful. And I love her choices of fabrics and colours. So that was wonderful. So take care, everyone. Um, stay safe and I will see you again soon. Bye.